Aloha, Ryder here. So having trouble getting the GoPro to Bluetooth with the phone right now to do a live stream. So uh, it's actually gonna produce a better video because I'm gonna shoot in 4K. And this is what we're gonna be doing today. So a lot of, lot of things going on. Uh, to start off with, this is my what I call my Swarm 2 hive and it's very active. This is one of my brand new hives. I'm not sure what I'm going to name it, but it is an active colony and I just opened it up. I actually placed some uh, shrubbery, uh, these little flowers right here, I placed these on top of it so that they would reorientate themselves since they uh, move from a close distance away. I've been advised that I don't need to and they've already removed them. So they're already getting acquainted with their new surroundings. That hive is actually going to move a couple feet over. I'll move that little compost pile out of there. Let's move over here. And this is a long Langstroth box. It's a similar setup to a top B, top bar beehive. However, uh, I haven't opened it up yet. You can see the bees are very eager to um, come out and check out their new environment. Um, there's probably a few dead bees in there too that they want to uh, push out. It is going to go in the corner over there by the fence. And the first thing I'm going to do is put in some stones for bases on each of the feet. I know the measurements. I've got a level so I can level it up nice. And it's going to take just a little bit of work to set it up over there. I've already pulled out the pompous grass that was here. There was um, a pompous grass as big as that one right there. And then this is one of the other hives. So I got two standard hives with colonies in them. Again, the light's not on this yet, but you can see there are hundreds of bees in there, if not thousands, that are ready to go out and find their new home. So when I open this up, I'm going to do the same thing of putting some sort of branch or something in front of it just to uh, encourage them to reorientate themselves. So this box is going to move out of the way once I set the stones in over here and have them level. A friend is going to help me move that box. Then we're also going to go in and inspect this hive, which is my what I call my main hive that I've had for almost nine years now. And this one's going to be a normal inspection as the swarm number two hive is going to be uh, a normal inspection. The other hives I'm just basically going to open up and I'm going to treat them all with Formic Pro. So this one's going to get treated with Formic Pro. This one's going to get treated with Formic Pro. This hive over here will get treated with Formic Pro. And then I'll do a normal inspection on swarm number two hive. Now let me go over and show you one last thing. So let's take the long road. Please ignore the mess. It is early in spring. It's technically not even spring yet, but I have a lot of messes to clean up around here. So one of the reasons why I got these four new hives is someone decided to get out of the business for a couple different reasons. And I want to give a big shout out to Gunter for gifting me all this equipment and these four colonies. This colony right here is an extremely defensive colony. So when this hive gets opened up, um, they, they are pretty agitated and uh, got to be super careful with this. Oh, looks like the position I chose actually has provided some ants to this. So that's something I'll have to deal with. This one here, I will most likely be requeening next weekend I'm going to treat it with Formic Pro first and this will be the last hive I work on should be a pretty exciting video uh, if I'm able to do it from here I want to stream live but I may not be able to if I can't solve the the Bluetooth problem 
So that's it for right now. Just a short video. I'll go inside and charge up the camera again and see if I can solve the Bluetooth issue with this camera. Otherwise, I'll just shoot videos and upload them to YouTube and possibly to my Twitch channel as well. And then I'll link it from my Facebook. So for right now, ride her out. And I hope you enjoy this next video that comes up. Have a wonderful day if you don't get to see the second video later on.